Young thug pretends to be on drugs. Look at this. He doing the same thing Dr. Dre did. Dr. Dre made the chronic, but he never smoked weed. Just a way to trick all you dumb motherfuckers or youngsters that don't know what's happening to be a puppet. It's hard to tell what's real and what's not in the world of Young Thug. The occasionally, whatever, rapper has made a career in blurring boundaries. And Thug's partner, Jerika Carlay, man, who calls their girlfriend his partner? Just made things even harder to make out. She shared that Thug regularly pretends to be high as a part of his character. I bet he pretend to be gangster and all that. That's just a technique. You know, it's the same as Hollywood movies. All of it is acted. Carlay broke thugs. I don't even know why they call him thug either. Carlay broke thugs toasted in an interview with Adam22 on No Jumper. Honestly, though, when people think thug is fucked up, thug will be pretending, she said. And I'm really doing a favor on letting that out. Man. They kill me with this slime is smart. Man, all that shit is this dumbass word these idiots using. That nigga, that nigga, no doubt. Thug would throw bait out there and just to see who gonna catch on to it. Carlay sharing, Carlay sharing of secrets about Thug came to the same time another rapper is talking, taken out of school about her. As a part of his beef with Thug, YFN Lucci claimed that he slept with Carlay. He slept with Carlay in a recent interview. I was in bed with her a couple times, Lucci said in the interview. See, these dudes don't understand. You happy to be in the bed with her and she sleeping with him. And y'all already know what they say Young Thug is into. You know what I'm saying? He bicentennial. So for this dude, you know, a lot of you dudes are straight fucking idiots. Because you think you're coming up when you're sleeping with the same woman as another man. Man, all you're doing is taking a chance at catching AIDS. The man hygiene probably ain't as good as yours. Straight idiots, man. Carla has denied that she ever slept with Lucci and said that the rapper has harassed her on similar lies for years. She said that the lies are part of a strategy to get back at Thug because he can't win a feud with the rapper on wax. Now, the funniest thing is, I'm going to tell y'all something. None of these dudes selling as many as albums as they say. All these dudes is using the old Master P trick. What's the old Master P trick? It's drug game trick. It's called buy and flip. They buying their own albums digitally. And they making double the money. Think about it. Let me break it down to you right quick in layman's term. If a company's going to give you a certain amount of money, if you sell a certain amount of albums... And the money they're giving you is going to be larger than your investment. You purchase the albums yourself. How you think Beyonce and all them almost beat Michael Jackson record? Beating Elvis record? Ain't nobody buying that shit. How many times you heard somebody riding around playing Beyonce lately? How many times you heard people playing Jay-Z lately? Even Young Thug. I ain't never heard nobody riding around bumping this shit. But it's, it be selling out. So, I mean, you know what? I'm in the numbers. And I understand how this stuff goes. So, you know, y'all wake up, man. Don't don't be fooled because uh, they saying he not using drugs. I mean, I don't know. All the stupid and weird stuff he do, I thought you had to be high off of other drugs, you know. And you look at these people these days, man, I'm telling you, no matter what, man. Straight circus. Straight circus. Buffoonery. Straight circus. Like and subscribe.